Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is The Geek Slays, and welcome back to the Scuffed Ass Podcast, episode 146. We're back with the man, the myth, the legend, the well, the bearded legend, Jedi Joker. How you doing today? I'm doing good, man. How are you? Doing all right. Damn, I should have went with Eros intro. I should have hit you with the Sith Batman. Yeah, the Sith Batman. Sith Batman 39 over here, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. <laughs> Batman thirty nine. You know, if 39. I ever do, if I ever do a rebrand, I'm stealing that name. I I feel like it would be easier to get in trouble with that name. Really? You think so? Yeah, cause Batman. Oh yeah. It's it's a little less vague than the Joker, so I yeah, I feel sure. like it could cause an issue or twelve. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> just an issue or twelve. Uh, so I don't actually really have a plan for us to talk about, but I did just see something very interesting. So uh, you know that James Gunn is now like, well, James Gunn and Peter Safran are now, or yeah, Safran are now leading uh, DC Studios, right? You, I you heard about that. it. Yeah. I didn't really read much into it. So they are. And James Gunn has been tweeting out some pretty cryptic shit um, involving all sorts of stuff. Uh, you know, he's tweeted out pictures of, like, Lobo. He's teased Lobo. He's teased... Yeah. Who was the other character that I'm not remembering off the top of my head? Um, I mean, he teased Johnny Hex. He teased... Uh, not the Atom. Uh, Mr. Fan, not Mr. Fantastic. What the fuck is that guy's name? Mr. Terrific. Thank you. My brain did not work. But yeah, he just teased Mr. Mr. Terrific. I can't say I'm familiar with him, honestly. He was in Arrow. Oh, okay. The guy with the little spheres. Um, and then he, today, eight hours ago, he tweeted out a picture that is the cover of a comic book. And it is the cover of Kingdom Come, which oh. is one of the more popular DC stories. Um, created in 1996 by Alex Ross, Todd Klein, Mark Wade, all these guys. Some of the best uh, comic book artists and writers there are. Yeah. The whole story of Kingdom Come was that the new crop of superheroes were too dark and too violent and weren't actually helping people and that they were basically villains. So the old group of heroes, Batman, the Green Arrow, let's see, who else do I see on this cover? Uh, Hawkman, all these different guys show up and basically kick the shit out of the the darker, grittier heroes of the 90s. And initially, I was like, you couldn't make a Kingdom Come movie work. You just couldn't. I, I didn't like it. I still don't want them to do it, but after thinking about it, I'm intrigued, but I still don't want it to happen. They would... They... Like, yes, the last crop of DC superheroes has been overly dark, but you don't have an older crop to pull from unless you're going to, like, kill off Henry Cavill Superman. But I, yeah. I don't I don't know how you do it. I, really I just don't. sent you a picture. Was that the picture you're talking about? Is that the cover you're talking about? Um, I don't know because I have to look on my phone. Hold on. Because I can't mess with Discord while we're in the call. Um, yeah. No, it is not that one. Okay. Actually, it is a different one of the covers. Okay, because that's the that's the one I've seen. I was like, wait, that could be that could be something, right? No, that one was not it. Um, so let me see if I can find the picture for you. I don't know if I can. Yeah. Well, I can find the one on Twitter. I'll just. Just go look at James Gunn's Twitter and you'll see the, the other yeah. one. But either way, I, I don't know if 
this makes sense. I mean, it's DC. Does anything DC make sense anymore? I thought that was the whole point of hiring James Gunn is to make a story that makes sense. And I was wrong. Batman is not on the team with Superman. He's on the other team. The other team that is led by Shazam, which is also just so strange. Batman uh, being on a team and not being a leader is strange. Are you talking about the one where Superman's like at the table with like the Green Lantern logo thing? Yeah, the Green Lantern logo table. And you see yeah, Superman okay. and his crew. And then if you look in the table, you see Shazam and his crew. Yeah. I, but I it's mean, interesting. I But I don't want it to happen making plans that kind of got me intrigued though right like like i said it's intriguing but i don't know i don't want it i don't think it yeah. would i don't think it would translate to screen very well now okay so if they decide to go live action i don't think it'll work but if they keep it animated it might they, they, they would go live action though which is the problem yeah and yeah um, i'm just good on that yeah um yeah also i guess i should say this fairly early on uh merry geekmas go uh Geek go check out the store there's new stuff by the time this, this is out but... that'll be on there no this is this you is my get... christmas design gotta bring that oh. back here i'll find something better for you Cup's a little dirty, but you can more clearly see. Lightsabers have changed to red and green. There are Christmas lights wrapped around everything. It's nice. That's kind of dope, actually. Yes, sir. Christmas logo. I also have to find my Christmas decorations and put some up. I don't really want to, but that's a thing I've done every year doing Geekmas, so got to do it. This guy with his rocking. presents. Dude, I, I haven't even this. started buying presents yet. That's what do you one, mean? That's, that's one of many, dude. Oh, that's not true. I have two people's Christmas presents done. Like the ones that didn't fit up in the attic or in here with me. Gotcha. Yeah, got my my uncle's Christmas gift done and my brother's. Uncle Buck? But I need perhaps? to, no. Uh, but I need to, I need to clean it. Because I'm giving my brother my old PS4, so I need to take it down and clean it. And I might open it up and clean it out on the inside. If I have thermal paste, I might do like a complete teardown and get it looking real nice. I don't know. Yeah. But I don't know if I have thermal paste laying around. <laughs> I just <laughs> that's something yeah. that I I just don't know if I keep uh, keep around. So I might just order some. But I mean, you uh, are you a big Christmas guy? Christmas is probably one of my. It's. Uh, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it's my second favorite holiday. Oh, see. Second, yeah. Third. I'm gonna say third. Christmas well, is my least favorite holiday. I do not like Christmas yeah. at all. I know. I go kind of all out in December, but that's mostly I mean, yeah, because. Other people enjoy Christmas, so you got to get a little bit in the yeah. spirit because that helps people. Yeah. And then let's also be honest. December is the time of year where everybody is off of work and out of school yeah. and like yeah, yeah, they yeah. have time. That's why I go so hard with YouTube videos and other content and like pushing things to December. Oh, that's right. Geekmas is, I mean. Geekmas as would have started out, yesterday. Yeah. At, yeah. If, yeah. As yeah. this comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Geekmas, it has started. But, yeah, it's very interesting. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not a big Christmas guy. And then... Honestly, I my favorite part about Christmas is, like... It's not about the gifts, obviously. It's just, like, family. <laughs> um, the only family I really have right now is, like, my brother and my, my sister-in-law is the only family that I bother with. So right. Christmas for the family aspect is very important to me, you know. 
See, um, but that's why I prefer Thanksgiving because there's not the expectation of yeah. giving gifts. You got football yeah. all day, so that's also a bonus. You got the good food. Yeah. You got family around. Yeah. Better than Christmas. But my, the other thing with Christmas is as a holiday, it pisses me off because it doesn't make sense. It It's a holiday that's supposed to be, well, it's Jesus's birthday. No, it's not. Dude was born in the spring. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. We know this. Like, uh, all of the traditions just come from the old Norse traditions of Yule. Like, or from Saturnalia, which... Yeah, but Yule is the big one. That's where all the traditions come from. But, like, nobody cares that this is actually a pagan holiday. Like, it's yeah. weird. And it just bugs me. It's one of those holidays that everything is a lie and people are just like, it's fine. It's Christmas. And I what, irritate, what irritates me about Christmas is I used to work retail. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking music for three yeah. months. Yeah, because it starts in like fucking September for no reason. Oh my God, dude. You know how many times when I used to work at, uh, uh, fuck it, I used to work at Walmart. You know how many times I fucking heard Mariah Carey throughout the night? It was <laughs> nauseating, dude. Like, seriously, I wanted to bleed my ears out. But she doesn't yeah. want a lot for Christmas. There's just one thing she needs. Geek, I'll slap you. <laughs> Don't. Oh, man. The, the the Christmas music, some of it's all right. But when you start hearing it, like I said, for three months in a row, no. See, but I'm also just not a fan of, like, specific holiday music, if I'm being honest. Like, that's trash. Either your songs are good or they're not. And if they're only good one month out of the year, they're not a good song. Sorry. Deal with it. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I'm not a I'm not a fan. So we should move away from being a Scrooge. You muted yourself? My bad. If you had to pick a Christmas movie to watch the rest of your life, what would it be? I don't really watch Christmas movies. Um Fair enough. Hold on though. I'm looking up some Christmas movies not about Christmas. That's what's important. Die Hard. Right? Like, Die Hard's one of them, but I'm not a... <laughs> I'm not a big Die Hard fan. Okay. Early, early choice. Iron Man 3. Set during Christmas. I'm true. I forgot all about that. Yes. Because when he's at... Uh, Harvey's when he crashes and he's stuck at that Harvey kid's house. It's Christmas time. That is true. Edward Scissorhands, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Batman Returns is awful, but I mean, there you go. Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I haven't watched that since like 2005. <laughs> <laughs> Reindeer Games. Basically, any movie that features Christmas but isn't about Christmas would be my answer. Yeah. Except for yeah. Die Hard, because I feel like that's the most overrated movie ever. Yeah. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's not as good as people try to make it out to be. It's not Does as big sense? as the hype. No, it's not as good as it's hyped no. up to be, for sure. No, ah, not. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. That's a that's that's another one. There's Christmas in that. I didn't watch all those movies. I read the first three books. I'm still and watched the first three movies, but I didn't. That's about that. I gotta finish watching them. Because let's be honest, it's easier to watch a movie for me than read a book. I'm not saying I can't read, but you know, some people I just aren't. Some people just aren't big readers. That's not me though. I'm a big yeah. reader. Actually, I'm currently reading. Through the first Game of Thrones book. And yes, I'm oh, using nice. an actual dollar as a bookmark because I didn't have any bookmarks. Deal with it. <laughs> it's a dollar. Yeah. Cheaper. You know. Technically cheaper than a bookmark. So fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've already watched all of the Game of Thrones movies. Or well, the whole show. Now I want to get yeah. into the books. But no, uh, if I had to pick one Christmas movie to watch, 
if I have to have a serious answer, it would be Jim Carrey's The Grinch. But yeah, Iron Man that... Three is gonna be my real choice because fuck Christmas. So, did you see they're coming out with a horror version of that, The Grinch? Yes, which is hilarious. They're also yeah. coming out with a horror version of Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the Winnie the Pooh one. The Grinch be, one looks pretty decent, but the Winnie the Pooh one looks going to be fucking hilarious. That's all that matters. It's going to be so bad that it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, probably. Could be. But yeah. Weird. Um. Yeah. So, uh, I guess real quick, I guess what would be your pick if you had to pick one Christmas movie? Polar Express. That's not a bad choice. That's I'm a big a Tom choice. Hanks fan. I love Tom Hanks as an actor. Fair. That's valid. That's valid. I make it a point to watch Polar Express at least four times a year. Interesting. So yeah. I don't know if you cared about this stuff. Do you use Spotify? Uh, here and there. I don't use it as much as I'd like to. Okay. So... They did a th well. There's this website called InstaFest. I don't know what that is, but it basically makes a festival based off of the music you listen to on Spotify. Yeah, I, I, I brought this up when we were playing Valorant earlier because, you know, the headliner Wednesday is headlining on a Thursday, which is funny, based off of how they made this air quotes festival. But tell me, this festival wouldn't be the most intriguing fucking thing. So the first day of the festival, yeah. you have a band called The Santra. If I remember correctly, that's a actual like heavy metal band. Like yeah. I I think I might be wrong cuz I I don't know if I've ever listened to this person actually. I've honestly never heard of them. Yeah, so. this is something I've never heard of actually. Maybe I listened to a song because it was in a playlist one time, but I have no clue who they are. But they yeah. open up the day. Then you get Green Day. <laughs> then you get right. Brad Paisley. <laughs> Again, I can't be mad at that. Then Linkin Park. Nice. Motionless and White. A, I love a, a Motionless metal band. Okay, good. XXX Tentacion. I, uh... I, that, still. Hobson. Avril Lavigne, Eric My Church, uh, FTI Studios, because, you know, undisputed. Typically, she called me daddy. This one screamed Uncle Buck. Jesus Christ. That's for you, Matthias. I'm going to get an angry Instagram message about that the minute he sees this. It's going to be hilarious. Uh, then Emerson Corleone. And finally, Stream Beats by Harris Heller. He's a YouTuber who makes music for you to play on stream. He's headlining the opening night. Then Thursday, we've got the All-American Rejects, <laughs> Marshmallow, Nickelback, oh, wow. Love Nickelback, Eden, who I don't think you would have heard of, but maybe. I never heard of Eden, no. Eden's great. At least I think so, but... Um. Yeah, Eden's great. I'll show you some Eden songs later. Uh, oh, I fucked up somewhere. I'm so confused. Okay, so oh. then Eden, then Three Doors Down, then someone called Carl Casey. I don't. I've heard of him. I don't know if I have. What song? If I hear one of their songs, it might ring a bell. But I I know the name. I can't oh, say I know. Oh, I think music. it's from one of the synthwave collections that I listen to with Eero, yeah. probably. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm trying to see if I recognize any of these songs, but I don't think so. So this was like something that was just in a playlist that I listened to. Yeah. Um. But then Carl Casey. Then Five Finger Death Punch. <laughs> Then a band called Rehab, uh, who most people would know for the Bartender song. Okay. Bartender, I really did it this time. Broke my parole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that band. They make other songs, and they're phenomenal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then Kennedy, who's a YouTuber. He used to be a Zombies YouTuber who started making music. 
It's a fire. You heard me talk about it on the E-Cast. We can move on. Yeah. Then Machine Gun Kelly. I was going to say he should be on that list. If it's a oh, he's playlist, in my top like, five. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. he's in my top five. Then Wednesday, obviously. The GOAT. Shout out Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Then the final night, there are two bands I've never heard of again. Uh, we got Avenda and Lofium. Now, Lofium, I know, creates a lot of the lo-fi music I listen to while I'm working, so that one makes sense. Mm -hmm. Uh, Then Lifehouse, which I'm shocked made the list. Uh, They made the song You and Me. Yeah. And then, yeah, one of those late 90s, early 2000s. I think that's the only song of them that I know. Might be. Uh, I'll double check, because I know they have one other popular one. But I can't remember it off the top of my head, obviously. Oh, Hanging by a Moment is great. Oh, yeah, I do like this song. Hanging by a moment here with you. Yeah. Then John Williams of Star Wars fame, because I listen to the Star Wars soundtracks way too often. (laughs) Then Tech Nine. (laughs) <laughs> so John Williams and then Tech Nine, that's not a wild switch at all. Then yeah. System of a Down, Good Charlotte, NF, and then it's the big final four. Cause you know, final night of the festival, you got Juice World, you got Eminem, you got Essinger, and you got Mindy. The <laughs> Tell me I that would... wouldn't be the coolest festival of all time. I would pay for a ticket for the whole week. Honestly, I would sell my soul to see this, especially because, you know, multiple of these artists aren't alive anymore. So yeah. I would I would sell my soul for this festival. It would you be know I'm a fire. You know, who I'm a big fan of, and I think they're kind of underrated. OK. I'm a big dead mouse guy. OK, I'm not a big yeah. dead mouse guy, but I, I get it. I'm just not really my style so never yeah. got into it the closest artist to dead mouse that i listen to is marshmallow and it's really yeah. not that close yeah. so <laughs> like dead mouse does make good music it's just not like what i listen to on the average day yeah so i want your quick guess at who my top five artists are on my spotify wrapped uh, top five artists. I'm gonna go. Uh, Emerson. And this is in no particular order, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna say Eminem, Emerson, Mindy, Lincoln Park, and Essinger. Okay, so I gotta tell you the. Four out of the five options are song or bands that I can listen to on stream. Okay. So, I didn't, you yeah. Know. I'll let you change a couple of your guesses if you want to, because that's right, information so that's important. DM, DMCA top five, I'm going to say uh, Emerson, Essinger, Mindy, um, I don't know the the last two. Okay, so I your top three. I know. So I'm gonna be su- You're gonna be surprised. Some because I was surprised. Somehow Emerson didn't crack the top five. He's at number six. Oh, you want to know the reason? Because I didn't find out about Emerson until like midway through the year. Got you. And then the only song of his I listened to for a while was Undisputed. And then I picked up everything else. So starting at number five, the final one to crack the list, we got Essinger. Yeah. At number four, we have the only non-DMCA free artist, Machine Gun Kelly. Then... At three, we have Wednesday. At two, we have Mindy. And at one, Harris Heller. <laughs> hey, I don't know who Harris Heller is. Again, he just makes DMAC free music. Anything, basically, all of the instrumental songs that you hear where there's no vocals 
on my stream. Okay. That's all okay. Harris Heller. Oh, yeah. I might have to check him out. Yeah, I love his stuff for like background music because not having yeah. vocals can sometimes be a good thing. Um, yeah. I got you know what? I don't know if probably, but I'm a big Jonathan Young guy. I don't know if you know who Jonathan Young is, but he does like all the covers of like the metal covers of different okay. songs and stuff. Okay. I don't think um, I know him, but okay. If you get it when you get a chance, look him up. Like he does like metal covers of a bunch of different songs. He did uh Mulan, he did um what song? I was just listening to it last night at work. Um I don't know. He just does co like metal covers of a bunch of different songs, and I don't know if he's DMAC free or not. But I would love I to listen to his it. music because the songs themselves aren't DMAC free. So that is true. Um. So we got more questions though, because I got my Spotify Wrapped for podcasters. So okay. this tells me about my stat. Well, the stats for the Scuffed As podcast, obviously. Yeah. So. The most listened to episode this year. I I want you to guess what it is, but I will give you one hint. It had a guest who is not a regular guest on the show. Was it Ira? Was it who? Ero. No. Okay. Uh, wonders are regular. I consider the football twins a regular. <laughs> the football twins. And yes, that is that is Miller and Jake Talk Sports. I'm coining that right now. Oh, the I'm definitely thing. stealing that the next time I have them both on. Yeah. Um I just came up with that. That was pretty clever. That's anyway. That's a good one. Um Yeah, those two are regulars. Uh who else is a regular? I think that's it. Um You and the... Hero count as regulars. <laughs> That might be it for actual like regular regulars though. Um most Okay, of you I will that, also uh, give you another hint. They were in my top 6 for Spotify's Wrapped. Oh, Emerson. No. Oh, wait. Did you have did you have um Wednesday on them? You did, did have Wednesday. It was Wednesday then. It was. Yeah. 336% more streams than my average episode. Jesus. <laughs> All right. The next thing it posted were the three countries where the podcast is listened to the most. Two of these are very easy to guess. One is Obviously. not. Uh, okay, so obviously USA and Canada. Those are the two easy uh, ones. Okay, and you know what? Just because I have a lot of friends over there, I'm going to say Australia for some reason. Not in the top three. They didn't tell me all the countries, but the top three were the US, Canada, and Norway. Norway? So to all my Norwegian viewers out there, hello, how you doing? What's up, Norway? <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Um, That's awesome, though. This was something pretty cool to me. Uh, my podcast was in the top 15% of most shared podcasts globally. And that's all of YouTube? That's all of Spotify. Oh, Spotify. Okay. But yeah. Top 15%. 15%. I, I'll that's take that. Bad. I'll take that. That's great, man. And then I, the last one I posted was just the actual growth. We've so we're up 105 percent on total streams, up 113 percent on followers on Spotify. Didn't yeah. even know that was a thing, but okay. Yeah. Up 127 percent on hours listened, and up 142 percent on listeners. So thank you to all you fucking nerds who are watching this podcast for being fucking nerds. I appreciate uh, you. I'm, I'm going to say you're welcome on the hours listened to because oh, I, you're definitely I open. I literally watched every single episode up to this point. You so. did. You're a top man. Yeah. I wear this shirt with pride. I appreciate you, my guy. I really do. Um, honestly, you know, 
this is this is your podcast, but me as a fan, I would like to see a couple people as a guest. I'd like to see Artie on on the show again. You want another Artie? Yeah. Uh, did you forget Red? she was on once? I did, ah. but um, <laughs> it was a while ago. I forgot. Yeah. And it was during the um, creator clash where I was going fucking wild with the people I was yeah. inviting on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see. Uh, I'd like to see Red. I don't. That know one's that not up to me, man. That one's up. Yeah, to Red. I know. I know. We love your Take Red. Take that up with him. Take that up. We need to get you on the show. Um. But yeah, those are the top two. That's I'd fair. Like to see. I, I need to get an actual episode in with Artie for sure. We definitely had a lot we could we could talk about. But we spent most of the time talking about Markiplier. <laughs> Also, I do have to call you out in public right now. Uh Uh-oh. What did I do now? For being so sure Markiplier was going to win the Creator Clash when I did it myself. Listen, knowing you and knowing your fandom of Markiplier, I thought it was a shoe in the I love Mark, but he's he's barely in the top three creators for me. Yeah. I love Mark. I I will say publicly... Everybody knows my dislike of Ninja over the, over the years. Yes. I'm starting to respect Ninja more. Because Ninja's that guy, dog. I, I know, listen, but I also understand where you were coming from. I get it. But also, yeah. Ninja's that fucking guy. <laughs> I will say publicly right now, I am a fan of Ninja as of right now. Let's go. I'll, I'll put him in my top five. Like, this is going to sound wrong to, like my personal friends but if i consider top five pro streamers i'd say ninja's top five well and let's be honest 90 percent of your friends couldn't oh this is gonna get me in some trouble just we can move on if you don't want to say it no i'm gonna say it but it could cause some problems but let's be honest most of us aren't professional streamers yeah most of the people that you follow and know on Twitch, like personally, have jobs outside of Twitch. Yeah. Like, yes, the end goal is to become a professional streamer, but at this point, most people aren't. I don't know how yep. many people you know stream that don't have a job outside of it other than me. Um. Yeah, I think... No, there's a, there's a couple okay. that I know. Okay, but I'm not I gonna name not drop them here. So, but there's a there's yeah. a couple. Yeah, yeah, but it's one of those things where it's like, it's tough. What do you call a professional streamer? Is it about the numbers? Is it doing Twitch as your full time job? Is it about just no, earning any like money at all? Like pro pro streamer, like mainstream, meaning like mainstream. Oh, like, I knew what you meant. I'm just meaning like yeah, the. Yeah. the that can be interpreted lots of ways, so I don't think yeah. anybody will take offense to that. Maybe they will. No offense to anybody listening to the show that might take offense to that, by the way. <laughs> but. Um, yeah. The hell are we looking at? Who can't keep getting away with what? I'm so confused. Are they just... Oh, they're talking about Mario ripping off Sonic all the time, which is valid. I can see that, honestly. Well, I mean, Mario came first, but, like, even the cover for this movie matches the cover for Sonic Unleashed almost exactly. The cover for the new Mario movie almost perfectly matches Sonic Unleashed. Yeah, it does, actually. So... (laughs) Sorry, wildly off topic. I'm scrolling through Twitter. Um, so, how does it feel to be an Eagles fan? This season, I'm loving it. <laughs> I feel like, listen, Philadelphia is doing good lately. We, uh, we're in the World Series. Unfortunately, we didn't win, but things yeah. happen. Uh, we have one loss as of right now. Um, Should have two, but Vikings choked. Fucking, com- fucking commanders. Um, Should have two. Actually, the Vikings didn't choke. I'm going to be honest, Kirk choked. 
Kirk. That yeah. game g- did look like it got out of hand quick. It was 24 to 7 at half, which is my point. Yeah. The Vikings didn't let the Eagles score in the second yeah. half. We forced three turnovers. Uh, two, w- two, because one was a blocked field goal, but that's still a turnover. Yeah. You had the ball, and suddenly we did, and you scored no points. That's a turnover in my head. Honestly, if I'm, if I'm being 100% honest with myself here, I don't think we're going past the first round of the playoffs. It's going to be tough because you got – well, so in the first round, you could luck out, but let's say – all the top four seeds move on because let's say the Eagles get the bye. So you've got Vikings, Buccaneers, and 49ers right now. Those teams alone just scare the shit out of me. If all three move on, you would face the Buccaneers. And I know they're going to go into the playoffs with a losing record, but you're still yeah. going against 12 in the playoffs. I mean, we did beat him in the Super Bowl with a backup. That's true, but oh. you also did lose to him last year with Jalen Hurts. Yeah. 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 Now, both teams very different, but again, there is only two men in all of sports I will never bet against. Patrick Mahomes and no. Tom Brady. Tom Brady and LeBron James. I know LeBron's lost. I'm still never betting against that motherfucker. Not one time. Yeah. I've seen him do too much crazy shit for me to go, LeBron can't beat this team. No, LeBron can beat anybody. It just doesn't always work out. Sometimes you run into the, you know, early Warriors where they just have Curry and Clay and Draymond. Sometimes you run into the Warriors where they added Kevin Durant and your second best player is me. It's not ideal. Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those things like whatever but yeah two guys in sports I will never bet against Mahomes is climbing that ladder though very much I do like Mahomes obviously I'm an Eagles fan I can't really hey you're allowed to like other players you're just not supposed to like players in your division which is why people hate me because I like all sorts of players in the NFL no, no because I, I do like Saquon Right, so that's, that's my, like, I'm not supposed to like anybody in the NFC North, but I've always liked Aaron Rodgers because, I'm sorry, he was the best quarterback I had ever seen. I know, Brady is greater. Rodgers can Brady, do uh, things with a football that no other human can do. I don't know how he does it. Rodgers can stand flat-footed, flick his wrist, and the ball's 70 yards downfield. I don't get it. It is, he is the best best quarterback I've ever seen like if you were building a quarterback in in a lab you build Aaron Rodgers like (laughs) that's what you want and I hate it because he's on a team I hate and honestly I think my my biggest problem with Brady is like I know I'm gonna get shit for this in the comment section but I I hate Brady because he's so damn good yeah no that's that's why most people hate him. I'm just honestly just he should have quit. Like, <laughs> okay. Oh, did I send you that video? Which oh the um, the get one back on that game. One more game. We're getting yeah. divorced and the guy's putting on his that yeah. boom. And it transitions into Brady. Yeah, I love that oh, so much. That was great. <laughs> yeah. That was great. But like. <sighs> Yeah, if you can still go, if you could still play the game, by all means, play the game. But there's no reason to at this point. He's just showing off at this point. Like, there's just fucking retire already. Dude, I, the thing is, I genuinely believe this. Football is the only thing he actually loves. Yeah. That sounds so horrible because he had a wife and he has kids. I genuinely think football is the only thing that man loves. Yeah. It's why it's what gets him out of bed in the morning. Yeah, but become a, be, honestly, I would love to see him as a sportscaster. Like get Rumble oh, the he's, fuck out of he's there. He's going to be as soon as we as soon as replace, he decides he's done, which who knows when that'll be. Replace Romo, have Brady go there. Because I fuck genuinely Romo. think now Brady's not retiring until he wins a ring or he can physically no longer play. 
Yeah. And we've seen it with Peyton Manning. Even when your arm is shot and you're actually bad, you can still lead a team to a Super Bowl win. Because the biggest reason why Manning did that with Denver and the biggest reason that Brady could do that, that fucking brain, he just understands the game too well. He knows everything you're going to do before you do it. Yeah. So he See, just I'm, I'm needs to be on a better though. team. Like, I, I, I can't stand Brady. I think he's overrated, but I wouldn't bitch if he came to Philly for a year. <laughs> well, that's not <laughs> happening. You know what could yeah, happen, though? I'd love to see 12 in purple, man. Oh, man. That could happen. And we got the team to win. Imagine Brady with Jefferson and Thielen and Dalvin Cook and TJ Hawkinson. Oh, in that in that Kyle Shanahan style system, the getting the ball out quick, lots of motion, confuse the defense. That would be beautiful. It'd be incredible. I want it so bad. <laughs> It'll never happen, though. But I, what I would pay, what I would pay. If I was the owner of the Vikings, I'd say, "Screw it. We'll offer the, we'll offer Brady whatever bag he wants. We'll trade Kirk and some picks to the Bucks because they're gonna need a quarterback when Brady leaves. Like it, it all works out." Yeah, but it's all right. All I need is Kirko chains to go win me a Super Bowl, because then Brady's no longer the goat. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you've heard me say this before, but yeah, that is my entire plan. Whatever quarterback wins a Super Bowl for the Vikings is the greatest quarterback of all time. We are the most cursed franchise in sport. Maybe the Lions. But they don't get hurt by their team as much. They just suck from the start. You guys look good this year, I'm not going to lie. That's the issue with the Vikings. We are all we always get really good and just come up just short, whether it's the four Super Bowl losses, the, I believe, eight different losses in NFC Championship games, including all of the different heartbreaks, Gary Anderson going wide left in 1998 when we were the greatest offense of all time. He hadn't missed a kick in multiple years, and he misses a 27-yarder wide left in a dome. There was no reason for him to have missed. So I'm predicting now. What are you predicting? Vikings, Vikings, Eagles in the NFC Championship game. You don't want that. Yeah, I know. This is not the same Vikings team from week two, Doug. (laughs) Yeah, I know. That's something I've been saying all year. Is if when when the playoffs come around, if we go on a run, give me Philly. We have a point to prove. I I honestly think if <laughs> I, I think I think it would be we, a great game. I think we're gonna end fifteen and two because I don't think we're gonna beat Dallas again. I need you guys to lose this week to Tennessee. I need Jordan Davis to not just happen. not play another week, and I need not Derek. I'm sorry, you guys couldn't stop Antonio Gibson and Brian Robinson. You really sure. think you're going to stop the king? Yeah. Any <laughs> given Sunday, isn't that what they say? That's fair. Now, my thing is, I just don't want, this sounds horrible, but I don't want Jordan Davis to play, because if the Titans can get you and the Cowboys get you, the Vikings, all they got to do is control their own destiny and win out, and yeah. we get the one seed. That's all I'm praying for. I'm sorry, Jedi. This is awful, but I am praying on the Eagles' downfall at this point. We're both guaranteed to make the playoffs. Now I'm just praying for seeding. seeding. Um, I just want seeding. You can be the two seed. You know, take it. I don't. No, no. There's no win in number two. No, fuck that. You know what there is though? Wins in Minnesota when we become the one seed. Yeah, Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be a good closing of the year. It'll be um, so how, fun. How are the Saints doing this year? I haven't really... They been suck, and I love God. it. I we get the their Saints. first round pick this year. Yeah. Oh, you have right now, I think you'd be in line for a the sixth pick in the draft? Yeah, we get their first round pick this year, so I'm hoping they tank the rest of the year. Uh, yeah. The issue is you're probably trading that pick away anyways. 
I mean, we we normally do. No, you're probably going to give oh. it back to the Saints. Like Kevin Costner draft day type shit? No. Uh, so the Saints offered you this at the trade deadline. Alvin Kamara for their pickback. Yeah, and we turned and, it down. As you should have, because you're waiting for Alvin Kamara's legal situation. If he's going to be in yeah. prison for a couple of years, you don't want to make the trade. But, yeah. you know, when his trial comes up, I think sometime before the draft, I know that. When his trial comes up, if he's not going to prison and the Saints still have that offer on the table, fuck it. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't care how good of a draft prospect you are. The odds of you being Alvin Kamara are very low. I like proven commodities more than I like hopeful draft picks. You know Kamara would make a difference today. You don't know if the rookie will be any good. It could be Jalen Rager 2.0. Yeah. Like, draft picks aren't a sure thing. Real players that we've seen play real football are a sure thing most of the time. You have your Albert Hainsworths of the world. And I know Philly fans are going to want to tell me, you have your Nomdi Awesome was. We signed him and he sucked. That's because uh, your coaches in Philadelphia, and I think that includes Andy Reid at the time, were fucking yeah. stupid. We're going to sign the best man coverage corner to ever live, and he's only going to play zone. And we're going to wonder why he sucks now. Dude, Ch Chip Kelly fucked our entire team up. Three, yeah, remember three the Chip dream Kelly. team? Because you signed Namdi, you had Vic and Vince Young. and Man. Uh, Free Chip Kelly, we were we were we were set. After yeah, you Chip had Kelly, Andy Reid. Oh man! And you fired him for Chip Kelly. Chip fucking Kelly. Andy and Reid's Doug gone on to be you know one of the five greatest coaches to ever live, and Chip Kelly that's what, doesn't that's coach. Why I'd say, that's why I say to everybody, like if the Eagles aren't in there, I always root for uh, Kansas City because of my that's love valid. for Andy Reid. That's valid. Hey, don't um, worry, though. You can root for Minnesota this year. We have a former Eagle I'm, on the team. No. You got to root for Jalen Rager. I'm not. I don't care. Uh, you got to root for Jalen I love Jaylen the color Rager. purple, but I'm not rooting for the Vikings. Well, I'm sorry. No, it's once the Eagles are eliminated. You got to root for us. You got to root for history. We need that one We're Super Bowl. We're not going to be ring. eliminated, though, no, Geek. We're not going to be eliminated. No, let's let's be real. We're probably going to lose the first round of the playoffs. Let's oh, I'm I'm so worried about the Vikings, man. <sighs> as much as I've said, Cuzzo is different this year. I still don't it's trust it. I still don't trust it, and it sucks. I want to be able to just be like, yeah, my team's great. And I just sit here and I'm like, I still don't love our quarterback. Our O-line's still shaky. I mean, Dallas proved that. Kirk could not drop back in the pocket without getting fucking killed. Yeah. And our defense has been bad outside of big situations. Like, I our mean, defense just gives up whatever they want until we just need a play because it's game over if we fuck it up. And then somebody finally does something. That's it. I mean, anything could happen. It took us 52 years to win a championship, so. It's taken us more than that, so. Yeah, I know. But, but like like I said, anything could happen. We'll see. Actually, way more than that, because the Vikings are older than the Eagles, I believe. I did enjoy the uh, Super Bowl that you and Sizzlin had on Madden, though. That was great. Oh that, my God. that game was amazing, dude. Dude, I pulled my biggest Vikings impression of all time. Ugh. I'm so mad, though. The quote that I've been using for the Vikings, the it's not over until I win quote, I needed to yeah. yell that after I scored that final touchdown. Just, it's not over until I win, bitch. Oh, Fuck that you. That was a great game. Oh, it was so good. I might go pull the VOD from that and upload it to YouTube. You should. That was kind of special. I might. That was pretty cool. 
Oh. I'm just going to title the video when everything in Madden goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That was so bad. So technically can... the Vikings won an NFL championship in 1969. Yeah. Because that was before the merger. So that would be what? I guess less than 50 years, I guess. No, it wouldn't. Yeah. I'm fucking dumb. 53 know, years. My brain. Right? Hold on. Yeah, 53 years ago. But that also doesn't count because yeah. not a Super Bowl. We've never, we've never got one of those. It sucks. All the great careers, the great players we've had, and the zero success from it sucks. Hopefully Justin Jefferson can change that, though. Hopefully. We'll see. Shit happens. Shit do be the haps. That is for true. I don't care who we lose to. I just don't want to lose against Dallas. <laughs> if we lose in the playoffs, let it to be let it be against anybody but Dallas. Uh, actually you know many... that works. Cause the the excuses are actually good if you lose to anyone but Dallas. If you lose to the Bucks, you go Fucking Brady. What the fuck? <laughs> right? Yeah. You, you lose to the Vikings at that point. It would have to be in the NFC Championship game unless both of our teams fall off and aren't the one and two seeds, which I just don't see happening. We both have, I think, four game leads. We'd have to lose out. Like, I don't see that happening. It's possible. I'm a knock on wood, but I don't see it happening. So we'd have to meet in the NFC Championship game. And if the Vikings beat you then, you know what your excuse is? It was the team of destiny, just like the 2017 Eagles. Yeah, so we it, got it just Tennessee. Wasn't happen. We got Tennessee. We got uh, the Giants. We got the the Bears, and then we got Dallas. Ah, so the I think Dallas might beat you in that final game. Especially, there's a chance. Like if you win out before then. You're just you might rest your starters that week and it won't matter. Yeah. Um actually, either way, even if you're down to the two seed, you might rest your starters that week. Just cause fuck yeah. it. Give us some time off, get healthy, playoffs. Um but really the Cowboys might beat you. The only other teams that could are the Giants and the Titans, and it's just because of their running games. Giants are frauds. Doesn't matter. You know who's not a fraud? Saquon Barkley. And he's the yeah, only person on the Giants you actually need to be worried about. Are they frauds? I Who cares? Get... Saquon's not. I think, honestly, I think we got a good run defense. Not currently. Ever since Jordan Davis has been out, the Eagles have had the worst running defense. They cannot get a stop without Jordan Davis. Which yeah. is wild, considering that dude's a rookie. <laughs> Like, the impact he's had as a rookie is next level. It's insane. It's on the same level as, like, Sauce Gardner and Tariq Woolen so far. Um, But, yeah, I I mean, you knew this. I picked the Eagles to win the Super Bowl at the beginning of the year. So I'm not going to be mad if it's the Eagles. It's just because I was on paper we look like the best team in the in the NFL. Right. And like just... I I also wasn't expecting the Vikings to be this good, you know? New coach, new everything. I was like, I don't know if we got it. I don't know if we have the guys. But you know what honestly do. hurt you know what honestly hurt me the most recently as a as a Eagles fan? What's that? A fucking Jason Peters going to the Cowboys. That was so emotional for me. Yeah. That was like, I haven't felt that bad since Terrell Owens went to Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was, oh, he got his ankle broken, and then next year, go to the team that fucked up your ankle. And then he cried about his quarterback. Well, I love Tito. Oh, dude, but I love it, that video, though. I Jason post that every Peter time I'm talking about man, Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah. <laughs> That's my quarterback. That's my quarterback. <laughs> I love that video. But also, you know why T.O. left? It's the same thing that I keep saying. 
and you you're not part of it. Brando's not part of it. Dave's not part of it. Eagles the fans reason suck. people leave is because Eagles fans are the worst fans in sports. They're yeah. awful. Like the in the game against the Commanders, you're down seven at halftime and you're booing your own team. Fuck you. You know why Minnesota comes back from losses? Their fans don't give up on them. I think the word you're looking for is passionate, Geek. No, that's not pa- passion. That's fucking stupid. That's what that is. You don't boo your team before the game is over. I get it. You want them to play better. Have you considered, like, asking them to play better? Just yeah. thought. You could try not being a cunt. Hit them with the hard D. Just one time. Like, but that is why T.O. left. Because it was after his broken leg when he played in that Super Bowl. Right? He played. He balled out for you guys. He was Dude. really good in that Super Bowl. But then what do Eagles fans come out and do? Oh, I think T.O. Was, uh, is the reason we lost that game. Yeah, I don't even go to your biggest rival. He was the MVP that year, wasn't he? Uh, no. He w- probably would have won Super Bowl MVP had you won the Super Bowl. Like, he was your guy. Yeah. But when the Eagles fans came out and started saying T.O. was the reason we lost that Super Bowl, he should have never played on the broken leg. Yeah, I'd go to your biggest rival, too. Just as a fuck you. Honestly, I think McNabb lost us that Super Bowl, let's be honest. I think so, too. Yeah. I right. love McNabb, but he, he lost us that game. I stopped loving McNabb as soon as he became a Viking. Not as soon. I was oh, so hyped for whoa, that. I forgot. But he was I so totally bad. Oh, I don't know where it is. It's around here somewhere. I have a Donovan McNabb Vikings jersey. Bro, for it, sale, bro. Well, <laughs> you want to buy my I'm... McNabb Vikings jersey that was from when I was like 14? So I don't know if it would fit you because I don't know if it fits Probably me not. now. Probably not. And we're we're close to the same size, you know, approximately. This, this is a 4X. I think this is a 4X also. <laughs> so uh, That's valid. It depends on where I'm buying stuff from or what certain yeah. thing. But, yeah. Because, shit, I can fit into a extra large depending on the brand. No, I... But sometimes I need a fucking 6X because the brand sucks. And their yeah. sizing makes no sense. So, I, it's stupid. Uh, but I, I just, yeah, McNabb, once he got to the Vikings, I was like, oh, here it is. Here's our next Favre. Let's go make a run. And he was the worst quarterback I've ever seen. I don't so, get How do you get benched for Christian Ponder, you fucking loser? Too much Campbell soup. Apparently, dog. <laughs> God damn it. I I was so excited to get McNabb, and then he was just so bad. <laughs> that was also uh, after a stint in Washington, uh, though, so yeah. Washington ruined him. As Washington tends to do with everything they do. Did you see the fucking Sean Taylor memorial? I did. I was so pissed. Yeah, that was, that was kind of fucked up. If I was Sean Taylor's family, I would have demanded that they take that down. That's not That's honoring crazy. shit. No, not at all. Not a single thing of it was accurate, other than it was uh, a Washington jersey and it was the number 21. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, you couldn't have given him a statue? I mean, as much as I just talked shit about the Eagles, they gave a coach that they had already fired and a backup quarterback a statue. And it was like a legitimate statue. By the time that thing was revealed, Dougie P was not your coach. <laughs> That's because that moment in that moment is like oh, the yeah. biggest moment in history. Oh, whatever the thing is that wins the Vikings a Super Bowl, they're getting a statue outside of US Bank Stadium, no matter what. Whoever it is. I my yeah. hope is it's Jay Jetta's. But we'll see. Do you know how many people I know around here that got that fucking Philly special play tattooed like on them somewhere? Philly, Philly. 
I, I honestly thought about it myself, but, you know. Oh, it was funny. So my aunt, who I live with, the one I call mom, you know, the one who's in my Twitch chat sometimes. Uh, she, We've talked, and she was like, I will never pay for you to get a tattoo. Like a year ago, I was like, if the Vikings ever win a Super Bowl, will you pay for my Vikings Super Bowl tattoo? She was like, I, I don't know. And I was like, come on. It's been like 70 years and they haven't done it. It's not going to happen. She was like, okay. And I'm like, I'm holding you fucking to that. <laughs> every, time they, year, that'd be fine. every time they win a game this year, I just look at her and I'm like, one step closer to the tattoo. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yeah, it's great. It's a fun time. Ugh. But, yeah, this season's yeah. interesting. I'm still not sure if I like the Eagles head coach or not. I, I'm i going to plead the fifth on that one. Fair. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's hard. How are you supposed to criticize him? You're 10-1. and one. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's been my biggest thing is, like, I. it's kind of like Zach Taylor, the uh, Bengals coach last year. I was one of the people who's like, he's not that good of a coach. They're just that good of a team. That's kind of how I feel about Sirianni. Because it seems like whenever there's an issue for the Eagles, you either crumble or Jalen Hurts or uh, Jason Kelsey or Darius Slay are the ones who do something to flip it around. It doesn't seem yeah. like the coach... and. My bigger point for that is look at what happened when Jordan Davis went down. You still have four great defensive tackles, but suddenly you're the worst run defense in football. That's coaching. That's all coaching. Yeah. But also, but at the same time, you're 10-1. In that, in that aspect, though, honestly, I never understood people blame the coaches, but the coaches aren't the one playing in the game. No, but they are the one drawing up the scheme, and if your current scheme's not working – change something solve the issue yeah true like that is what you're there for if it was all just about the players playing we wouldn't need coaches but we do and coaching matters as we've yeah. seen specifically with a team like the vikings or even the giants the giants didn't get more talented this offseason they went from one of the worst teams to one of the better ones they're winning games that's coaching the vikings went from unable to win a game to suddenly the two seed in the NFC, what was the change? Coaching. Yeah. Like, it matters. And I don't know. I don't I, I don't know. I. Here's what I do know. Sirianni is not in that upper echelon. He's not Andy Reid. He's not Belichick. He's not Shanahan. He's not McVay. He's not one of those guys. That much I know. Now, is yeah. he... A tier two guy or a tier three? That's the real question. And this year it's hard to argue because you're 10 and one. Like, that's, how do you, why, that's why I didn't have a comment because right. at first you, I couldn't. Uh, no. No, it's one of those. How do you have a comment? You know? Yeah. But it's very interesting. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> there's a picture of a dog laying at a funky angle, and it was creepy looking. It looked like it was a mix of a like a dog, a goat, a pig, and a horse. It wasn't. It's just a dog laying at a weird angle. Optical illusions. Love it. Right? But, uh, all right. What else do you know? Is there anything else you want to get to talk about? Um, I don't know. Like, uh, I'm starting to watch the Clone Wars for the first time in history. Cause I can't, for some reason, Clone Wars kind of eluded me growing up. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm like five episodes in. Um, but yeah, trying to catch up on all the Star Wars stuff that I'm missing because I know Andor just came out. I think they're coming out with an Ahsoka series. Yeah, Ahsoka is coming soon. Um, 
But yeah, I'm, I'm I know the story, but I'm starting to watch from the beginning up until now. You know what I mean? So I can so I know the proper timeline of everything. Like I know all the movies, but I want to know the entire story from start to finish. Fair you know enough. I mean? Fair enough. Um, as far as gaming, it's really not much going on in gaming. I I'm honestly enjoying Warzone too. Uh I sucked at the first Warzone. Um, but for some reason this one is a lot more fun to me. Um I Valorant, can't... obviously you've seen in Valorant, I can't play Valorant to save a life. <laughs> takes time. Fucking game. It's a Fucking whole new game. style of game and you've never played on mouse and keyboard before. It takes time. And so and this is like the only game you play on mouse and keyboard, isn't it? Uh, Fortnite, but I'm decent at Fortnite on mouse and key. Oh, okay. Majority on controller, though. I'm saying like 98% on controller. But. Yeah, that's... Yeah, well, I think. I think that'll probably do it for me. So, uh. All right. Merry Geekmas to all of you, and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for being here, Jedi. Don't forget to go Absolutely. follow him. His at is down there, over there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, go follow him, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Go go follow places. Uh, go follow him on Twitter, and you can get all the other links from there. <laughs> but, yeah, without further ado, I think that'll do it for us. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.